Now to a move like none other for NASA. Today, crews offloaded the most powerful rocket ever built. We told you earlier this week when the core stage of the space launch system rocket arrived on a barge at Kennedy Space Center. Well, just hours ago, workers moved the 212-foot-long rocket into KSC's vehicle assembly building. New 6's James Barbero was there and has more on how it will one day get American astronauts back to the moon. What NASA calls the backbone of the world's largest, most powerful rocket on a mission to the moon. The 212-foot-tall SLS core stage moves off NASA's barge that transported the booster from NASA's Space Center in Mississippi. Our first sight of the Pegasus barge on the Space Coast, Tuesday at Port Canaveral. Now today, about 50 team members working methodically to offload the final major hardware arriving for the Artemis One mission. The uncrewed test flight of the rocket with the Orion capsule planning to fly around the moon. It feels really real and really close and that's a great thing for Kennedy Space Center and a great thing for the Artemis team. NASA says the core stage will move into the vehicle assembly building and in the next month go vertical in between the SLS twin 17-story solid rocket boosters. The upper stage of the rocket and the Orion capsule will top it off towering well over 30 stories. Next thing is to see this fire up again, uh, which will be at launch, which is going to be just unprecedented. It's going to be amazing and fulfilling. It's an awesome responsibility we've been given to go ahead and uh, piece together and build and test the world's largest rocket. We're excited and uh, we're ready to get going. NASA admits it will be a challenge, but the agency continues to say it's sticking with its goal for the first SLS launch before the end of this year. At NASA's Kennedy Space Center, I'm James Sparvero, getting results news 6.